welcome to The Explainer. Today we're going to talk about something huge, how large language models, or LLMs, are about to completely reshape accounting and finance. But more importantly, we're going to cover how you can actually use this incredible power without, you know, getting into a world of trouble. So to really get this, we need to look at the big picture. LLMs aren't just some new feature in your software. Nope. They're the fourth massive technology wave to hit finance. First, we had spreadsheets, which changed everything. Then came automation with things like SQL. Then analytics with machine learning. And now we have language. Each one of those waves totally changed the game. And this one's going to be the biggest yet. All right, here's what we're going to cover in this explainer. We'll start with what makes this tech wave so different. Then we'll dive into what these new language engines can actually do. We'll get real about their limitations, and then we'll tackle the huge security risk. Seriously, it's a big one. Finally, we'll show you the right way to build a secure system and peek into the future of finance. So what's the big deal with this fourth wave? I mean, we're all used to spreadsheets and automation tools. What makes this so fundamentally different? Well, it all boils down to one simple, powerful idea. You see, all the other tools we've used, they were about numbers, right? Calculations, data processing, that kind of thing. LLMs are different. They are language engines. Their whole reason for being is to understand and create text, the very fabric of finance. We're talking contracts, policies, regulations, management commentary, all of it. Okay, so let's get into the fun stuff. What can these language engines actually do for you, a finance professional, in your day-to-day -day work? Well, it's pretty amazing. At its heart, it's this. They can read, they can understand, they can summarize, and they can do it at a scale and speed that a human just can't. This is the core capability that changes everything. Just imagine this for a second. Instead of you and your team spending days, maybe weeks, slogging through a thousand page sales agreement or a new accounting standard, you can just give it to the model. And in seconds, it can pull out all the key obligations, the risks, the revenue triggers. It's a total game changer. And I love this idea right here. They are an absolute superpower when it comes to reporting. We've all been there, right? Staring at that blinking cursor on a blank page, trying to write the MDNA or variance analysis. Well, an LLM can generate a fantastic first draft in seconds, getting you 80% of the way there and killing that blink page problem for good. Okay, now for a reality check. This part is so, so important. We have to talk about what these things can't do. Because honestly, understanding their limits is where you avoid all the risk. Here's the most crucial point. They reason with language, not with numbers. An LLM cannot do a math calculation with the same guaranteed precision as Excel. It can't check numbers against your general ledger. It can draft a beautiful memo about IFRS 15, but it absolutely cannot guarantee compliance. And most of all, it is not a substitute for your professional judgment or your company's internal controls. Never. And that brings us to, without a doubt, the most critical part of this entire explainer, the security risk. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this is an absolute hard stop for the profession if you get it wrong. Okay, let me be perfectly clear. You must never, and I mean never, copy and paste your company's financial statements, contracts, or any sensitive internal data into a public website like ChatGBT or Gemini. The only approved way to do this is through secure private enterprise platforms like the private offerings from Azure, AWS, or Google. These are basically locked down, company-only versions of the same tech. And just think for a second about what's at stake here. We're talking GL details, customer lists, pricing, payroll info, audit findings, the whole shebang. Putting any of that into a public tool isn't just a mistake. It's a full-blown data breach. And the consequences, well, it's permanent. Any data you send to a public LLM is considered irrecoverably leaked. It's gone. Forever. It can be used to train their models, and it's completely outside of your control. That's an instant violation of disclosure rules, privacy laws, and pretty much every requirement your auditors have. It's a nightmare scenario. Okay, so after all that doom and gloom, you might be thinking, well, how can we possibly use this stuff then? The good news is there is a right way to do it. So let's look at the secure architecture that actually makes this technology safe for finance. The solution is this modern finance stack. And the magic ingredient is a technique called Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. The easiest way to think about RAG is like a hyper-intelligent, super-secure corporate librarian. 
It lives inside your network. It finds the exact little snippets of information needed from your internal documents to answer a question. And it only sends those tiny, relevant pieces to the LLM brain. Your raw data never, ever leaves your secure environment. Which, of course, brings us to the fundamental question that's probably on everyone's mind. If this AI thing writes a memo and it turns out to be wrong, who's on the hook? The answer is simple, and it's never going to change. You are. The professional, the CPA, the CFA, the person signing off, is always 100% accountable. Think of it this way. If you use a calculator and you punch in the wrong numbers and get a wrong answer, do you blame the calculator? Of course not. It's a tool. The LLM is the exact same thing. It assists you, but you own the result. So when you put it all together, this incredible new power, but wrapped in the right security and governance, what does the future of the finance profession really start to look like? It means we can finally and safely start automating some of the most tedious, language-heavy tasks out there. You know, like digging through contracts to find performance obligations for IFRS 15, or drafting the initial commentary for the month-end close. All that stuff becomes faster, easier, and way more consistent. So let's just put this myth to bed once and for all. LLMs are not coming to replace accountants and finance professionals. They are here to enhance the profession. They're here to take away the boring, repetitive grunt work of reading, summarizing, and drafting that bogs everyone down. And what does that do? It frees you up. It gives you back the time and mental energy to focus on the real work, the deep analysis, the strategic thinking, the kind of decision-making that actually adds value. It elevates the role. So the question isn't if you'll be using this, it's how are you going to use it?